Performing at the Arlington Improv this week through Sunday, Carlos Mancia. Welcome back to the show. Hey, man. My brother, it is so nice to be back. How you been, man? I've been real good. How about you? I'm going to get kicked out of this country soon, so you may. (laughs) 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 I mean, I know they can't, but I I still think they will. You still looking over your shoulder? (laughs) I'm not looking over my shoulder. I'm just waiting for it. I'm just waiting for it to happen. (laughs) It's it's just, it's a time, it's, it's so crazy. I've never been alive. At a time where where people just don't get that America's like a beautiful big fat rubber band, we'll come back. We bend, but we don't break. Right. People are just freaking out out there, and I have never had more people be interested in my shows and walk out of my shows at the same time. <laughs> what? Like they show up so excited. I heard he's really funny, and then I'll like do a Trump joke and <laughs> they just leave. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, but I'm gonna do a Hillary one next. I promise. I'm, I really am balanced, not like Fox. I promise. I'm like MSNBC in one moment, and then Fox in another joke. Really? Uh, yeah. It's it's so it's so bad because people are just. People are just, you know what it is? It's people believe what they hear today yeah. instead of the life that they lead. Oh, wow. And I realize that we're just complaining. Like, we're such a complaining society. Mm-hmm. Like, think about this. Like, regardless of who you voted for, right? Regardless of who you voted for, we've had two really good economies mm-hmm. during the Clinton administration and right now. We impeach Clinton and we're trying to impeach Trump. <laughs> Like, that just tells you about America. The presidents that give us good economies were like, you know what? Impeach this guy. I don't like it. I don't like it. Everything's good. Everything's fine. I don't like it. Things got to things gotta be bad for us. Yeah. I mean, I, I just see the world differently. I'm happy when I wake up. I'm, I'm you know. What do you I, think I, about the about the Kavanaugh uh Pen and conf- confirmation. I, here's the form. thing. Why? Why is everybody? Why is everybody trying to be perfect? I I don't understand. He could have done himself a favor by saying, "Listen, I drank illegally before I was 18, and you know, like anybody who drinks a lot, especially at that age, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, sometimes I blacked out. It's by the way, look at my record." I'm not that kind of person. Mm-hmm. I don't ever think I did that. I don't ever remember that happening. I don't remember happening. doing it. Yeah. I don't yeah, remember but he could doing say, it. But right. also he could say, look, look at my record. Could if, you? If, this was, if this was a Bill Cosby thing, there would be, if, if, if it was in a Trump thing, there would be a lot of women coming out, not just one. And so he could say, he could have said that. You know what I mean, and mm. and people would have been like, okay, I get it. You know, and we all did those that. Senators voting, yeah. Him, yeah. I mean, he could have been he could have been like Obama, who said, yeah, I did some blow once or twice. <laughs> you know, I just tried it. <laughs> I didn't even want to see. I just wanted to that see what it smelled weed. like. Yeah, yeah he, he smoked did a weed, weed. Carlos. <laughs> no, he <laughs> said he was on the white horse. Oh yeah, he now, did. Carlos. He said he tried it one time. He did. <laughs> he said he tried it one time, and Bush never said that he didn't. Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, they're like, Bush, did you do that? He was like, nah, 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 you, you know, you know. So I was like, oh, wow, he did. Okay, whatever, well, where your, it's okay. Uh, Carlos, just, where, where, where are your people from? My people? Uh-huh. Yeah, where will you be deported back to? I, I will be deported back to Mexico, even though I'm from Honduras. <laughs> <laughs> I will be deported back to Mexico because every time somebody asks me where I'm from, I say Honduras, and they go, "What part of Mexico is that?" So I'm getting, back. I'm getting sent back to Mexico, <laughs> regardless. <laughs> and then the Mexicans are gonna be like, "You're not from here," and then they're gonna kick me out to Honduras. <laughs> You'll finally get back to Honduras. I'll finally, I'll finally end up back in Honduras, you know. But, but, it, but it's it it's it's just a trip. How like you know we we, we I didn't really realize how much we we are not in like we don't live in this world like the typical american on the way to work is angry about traffic right mm-hmm. every day oh my god there's traffic oh my god there's traffic and then one day there's no traffic and they're at work early going well now what i'm gonna gonna do i'm early i don't know what to do like this is who we've become you know what i mean i'm from california okay about a year and a half ago it rained for 10 days straight after wow. after after having a drought for 10 years. So we've been praying for 10 years mm-hmm. for rain. Mm-hmm. Then the rain came. 
two days into it, we were like, oh, my God, when is it going to stop already? <laughs> like, it, we just never stop complaining. We complain about the roads and later you got to fix the roads. And then when they're fixing them, we're like, oh, great, construction. <laughs> now they fix them. It's just so bad out there. We just got to learn how to laugh at all this stuff. And that's why they come to see you. Well, I hope so. That's right. And that's don't right. come if you're easily offended. <laughs> I promise you will end up leaving. I, I'm just, I'm, listen, I have 11 sisters and six brothers. Wow. So my parents never hid anything from us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. They never lied to us. They never told They never told us pretend stuff. Like, my ugly sister knows she's ugly. Oh, my God. No, I'm, I'm being real. Like, when I told my father that I wanted to marry a woman who was a 10, my father said, no, maybe a 7. Like, straight up. Straight up. And I looked at my dad, and I said, no, but I really want to marry a 10. And he was like, well, then make a lot of money. <laughs> Carlos Mencia performing at the Arlington Improv this weekend through Sunday. <laughs> Later, man. Love you, buddy. <laughs> Gotta be there at the top. You got five minutes to make it there on time. Oh, oh.